it was difficult. Um, you know, it's, they've got a lot of rules. <laughs> the gun thing was a, a real issue. Uh, there would be moments in 24 over, over the eight seasons that we did before we shot in London, where if we had an idea, we'd just go, oh my God, okay, this is a great opportunity for this or this or this. And literally, we could look at a guy named Sterling, who was a, a prop guy on our show, and we'd say, okay, we need an RPG. And he would just bring it out of his truck. <laughs> that, that was not the case in London. Uh, we needed six weeks to even have a gun on set. We needed six weeks. Uh, Locations. Advanced notice, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that, that became kind of difficult. Uh, having said that, there was a fantastic kind of thing that happened out of that where we had to start thinking, okay, well, instead of just killing somebody, how else can we be dramatic about something? <laughs> and so, kind of like Mother is a necessity of invention. Like a window, for example? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and so we had to start thinking of different ways to do stuff. And so, it, in the end, it was fantastic. The crew was amazing. Um, that was a very difficult thing. Um, we had shot for eight years with the same crew. Uh, I think 30 some odd children were born, God knows how many marriages <laughs> had succeeded and failed over the course of that time. Uh, but we had become very close. And so it was very odd shooting with a different group of people. And it took us a few months, actually, in all fairness, yeah. uh, to kind of get close to each other. Uh, and I think we all stood off, you know, put our own rank up. It was, uh, London was a fantastic experience. Uh, there's, John and I had one kind of pivotal moment where we were shooting on the Thames River and we were looking down and John was setting up a long shot down the Thames. And we were thinking of everything from the defeat of the Spanish Armada, you know, 700 years ago to, to now, oh my gosh, sorry, 300 years ago. Uh, but it was amazing walking by a building that was 500 years old and it kind of looked average. Yeah. Uh, there, there was a texture in, in, in the UK where we got to shoot uh, that, was, that was unique and special and we kept acknowledging it. And then talk about some of the times we were in central London and we were trying to Two, three hundred people would be there watching us. Well, that, that's another thing. Uh, again, the rules are, are interesting. <laughs> you know, in Los Angeles, police officers could basically say, you can't walk here. And in London, uh, they can't. People are very, very clear about their rights. And uh, <laughs> the sidewalk is mine. I pay for it. It's in the Magna Carta. <laughs> and they would, uh, yeah, we would, we would get, sometimes when, when we did some of the scenes early on, uh, certainly entering in and exiting from the uh -huh. subway stations in Piccadilly, uh, we would get up to 3,000 people watching. Now the thing about that that's kind of amazing is that they, they actually did listen. So 3,000 people, you say, okay, our camera's aiming in this direction, now do you mind moving across the street? You would watch this giant ant farm. We were to the left, and, and I was like, oh my God, we'd never be able to do that back home. They, they would never listen, they'd be like, Wait, that picture was made front page. Excellent. And they were they were really cool. Well, actually, a barrier. You would just put a barrier up, and you'd say, go ahead. They did. Yeah. Crazy yeah. Stuff. And Los Angeles, they would steal the barrier. <laughs> and there's, a, there's an amazing scene actually. Uh, Mary Lynn, who plays Chloe. Uh, there was a really emotional scene where she first tells me uh, that her husband and, and son were killed. And we're in a car, and what no one will know is that there are literally five feet in front of us, 2,000 people <laughs> in a park watching us through the scene. And she looked at me and said, I don't know how to do this. And I said, internalize it. And 
And so then she does the scene, and she's fantastic, and she starts to cry. And I said, wow, that came out of nowhere. And she said, no, I started crying because I couldn't believe the 2,000 people were just sitting and watching me in the car. See, that's how we get performance on Twitter.